hello everyone it's been a long time i hope you guys are doing well today i will show you how you can actually draw the er diagram of library management system many of you actually have asked me uh, to provide this so let's see what are the components of an er diagram so er diagram mainly means entity relationship diagram so we need uh, the component called entity and their relationship among these entities and there are also another thing called uh, attributes i will show you what they are so uh, first we need to determine the entities for our er diagram entities are typically nouns such as books students or uh, librarian or our admin this type of things so they are the um, entities we actually draw them in rectangular size a rectangular shape box and here you can see these three are actually used for some example and here the then we need to identify the relationships among these entities. Relationships highlight how entities interact with each other. Relationships are typically verbs such as borrow, contains or does. In our example, the relationship of borrow and maintain effectively explain the interaction between the three entities, student, books and admins. Now you can see um, here the books, the student actually borrow the books and the admin or librarian actually maintains the books. So that is how we have actually shown this uh, relationship among these three entities and we have connected all of them together with some uh, connective where and after that we can add some attributes. So attributes show the specific characteristic of an entity, refining what the information is important to the model. Attributes uh, such as ID number, name and email are common attributes like students have some attributes like name username, password, email, etc. These are actually uh, shown inside our database uh, table that we have created. So inside the student table there were many column names. So from there we have picked the most important. Uh, we need to pick the most important uh, attributes for this student entity. Then there is our books tables. There are also some variable that we have used for uh, the column inside the table. We will uh, show them inside the entity. Um, uh, inside the attribute of this entity and then after that we need to complete the diagram to actually get a simple and logical year diagram or entity relationship diagram here you can see that we have many different tables so we need to actually select which one will be our entity and which one will not be included in the year diagram so i will be using this erdplus.com website for actually generating the year diagram you can actually use word uh, document too you can draw them uh, from by actually drawing them uh, yourself or you can actually use some other uh, website like creately.com to actually drag and drop those shapes uh, and create them the ear diagram but here you can actually um, create like this easily add attribute if you click on them they are actually going to add them or connect them directly so it is a bit easier so i will be using this one you can actually use any of them i'm just showing a sample here so we can use the student and uh, attribute add some attribute for the student entity so that, that will be first name then last name you can actually add like this or you can actually choose some options like uh, composite or multi-value this type of attribute will also be added if you need them you can actually select the option from the right side and we need to actually add all of them all of this which are actually important to our student entity and like this you can actually add password then role or id number of the student so i'm going to add id now and there will be some other options too let me just add them first and now name them email and then contact and picture i'm not going to add the status option because that is actually used to show the login status of the student to the admin this is not actually an important entity to the student so here email phone number and then the picture and you can actually uh, add the phone number as multi-value if you actually accept more than one phone number for uh, a student okay so that is how you actually created the student entity so there let's say another entity is here admin and we can actually create a relationship between them okay we cannot actually copy there is no option for copy let me see if we can copy the entire picture okay there is no paste option so we need to actually manually draw them uh, each of this entity and uh, attributes 
Okay. Now let's add a relationship and you can actually uh, rename the relationship and connect it directly by using the connect option uh, to draw a line from here to here or there is another option you can actually uh, connect them. Let me show you. Let's create two entities called A and B. And let's give a relationship between them that is called C. And now if we click on this entity and then we need to select the entity. You can sorry. Let me click on this relationship and then select here from entity 1 A and entity 2 B. They will directly connect them. Automatically they will uh, connect each other. You need, don't need to actually uh, draw some lines between them. You just need to adjust the position. Um, according to your liking and now you can see that we can actually create composite um, um, attribute like this let's say we are going to give a name and then inside the name there will be two attributes one is first name another one is last name we can also use username this type of things so that is how you create a composite um, composite attribute in this website i'll be actually giving the link of this website in the description box you can use this one to actually create your um, ear diagram so this is how we actually create all these things so now i will actually skip the process of drawing the entire ear diagram i will explain after i completed the ear diagram of the library management system and then i will actually give, provide you the image also Okay, so after I have uh, drawn this properly, I will actually now explain how I have drawn this ear diagram. So you can see that there are some entities we have selected. One is our student, the first one, let's say. And these are all the attributes, important attributes from the database table that we have created for a student. And there is another one called book, books and all these are entity of the book. And then the relationship between them is borrow or return. So student borrow or return the book and they actually keep track of the issue date and the return date that is why we have given to attribute for the relationship here and here you can see that there are some um, other column name inside this like quantity status inside the count inside our book table we have not actually used all these attributes all these inside our attributes we have used only the related uh, things re things related to the books inside this uh, entity relationship diagram and here the, uh, the relationship had actually two attributes here and uh, these books are actually maintained by our admin so admin maintains the book also admin keeps tracks of the student okay and these are the admins uh, attributes from our table we have given and uh, this contract is actually multi-valued if you click on it you will get this type of uh, attributes and then let's uh, rename it to form Okay, and then after this, we are actually uh, seeing how admin is connected to both a student and book entity. But admin and student both need to actually authenticate their um, need to go through the authentication system before they actually can uh, approve the book to the student. Or if the student want to actually take a book, they need to actually log in first. So that is how we need to actually connect the authentication system to both admin and student also the message so admin can send or receive message and also the student can send and receive the message so we have created another entity and connected them with both student and our admin and admin also uh, manages the report admin also manages the report and that is actually uh, that keeps track of delay fine then uh, which book which a person has taken and what is their return date if the return date has passed or not if the person has returned the book or not all these uh, things or report actually manages by our admin so that is how we have actually created the entire process there are some other things also like uh, the feedback system where the student actually um, give feedback or comments on different problems and discuss them if, if you want to add it you can also modify this uh, ear diagram now after this we can go to menu option and we can actually export the image so we can get a transparent background image also if you want you can get it like this if you click on this or you can actually get 
a high resolution image so i'm going to use the high resolution image and the background i will not use transparent background so after that i will just click on save everything looks good let me see how it has been downloaded so this is how our NTD relationship diagram is uh, now after i have actually completed the download process so uh, we can just use this, this now i will provide this image inside the link in the description after i upload this somewhere so that's all for today see you next time